Go follow 2G Gaming on the oh. Twitter at 2G Gaming. Yo, he's going Doc again? I saw him using Doc earlier in uh, the winner's side. I wonder if this is even a random pick. Probably not. Yo, let's go. Doc versus Young Link. I pray the names are normal. Yes. Oh. I like that wavelength attempt. It didn't work, but it, it looked nice. Yeah, Doc is so strong. You can't sleep on this character once he gets a hit. Oh. <laughs> but for the hard tech chase. Tornado? Oh. Oh. Who needs it? Dang, that was really good at your Yeah, the longer you keep Doc's snare out, the stronger it is. So it's really good for, like, throwing out off stage. Yeah, it's got a lasting hitbox. So you have to be really cautious when you go ahead and face Doc. It was really good on Shark to actually come up there with neutral there from the stage just because of the lasting hitbox. is really good to challenge your opponent when they're trying to go for an edge guard setup. A V out of shield. Oh, yeah. Sharp's Doc is definitely no, uh, it's not like a fluke Doc. He definitely knows what he's doing with this character. Yeah. I would hope so, man. This is not just any young Link. It's Colonies. Yeah. You gotta make sure that Doc is on point. Good up air, catches the up the aerial out of the shield, of course. No aerial, but the jump is normal, a uh, common mistake players will do. Just to get out of situations here. I do like that Colonies is kind of slowing the roll here, just specifically because he knows, like, okay, I'm on the receiving end, but I can turn things up to 11 if I can find a confirm off a of fire arrow. Question is, when will that confirm come for him? He's getting a little greedy, though, with uh, the grabs. Yeah. That's of course. about Young Link's grabs, though. It's like he commits to them, but normal, most of the time, he is going for those grabs because he's caused you to hold shield. Unfortunately, Ooh. that neutral air, like I said, lasting hitbox, really great to go for the off stage play. That was really good for Sharp to get that extra stock. Because before, like, if Colonies was able to get that stock without dying, it, it would have looked okay for him because Young Link's damage output is really good. So he could have brought it back pretty hard. Now he has to put in even more work. Uh, misfire arrow, nice though. You can literally cover the neutral with a down tilt to kind of call it the spot dodge. Yeah, Colony's really been struggling to get any good edge guards on Doc. And like, if you can't edge guard Doc that well, he actually can do some stuff on stage. Yeah. But there's a down air. 58%, not too bad. Young Link can definitely bring this back if Sharp gives him an opening. So far. Hasn't been able to get super long combos. Oh. Should be a show for, yeah. Should be a free punch out show. Nice. Almost gets sniped by the pill. I was gonna say, like, at this point, this is what we're seeing a little bit of a slower colonies, right? I mentioned it earlier. It's just because he's looking for a pick. Once he gets that fire arrow, yeah, he can turn things up to 11. It's a matter of finding that opportunity, but because Sharp is really consistently trying to get in and out of colony zones, like, it's like, it's like Ooh, it nice. pretty much puts colonies in such a tough end. Yep, that was a really good catch on the roll with the F smash. Mario, Dr. Mario, doesn't matter. That move is really, really strong. Yeah. It's all, I think people even DI Dr. Mario's up smash strange as well, just because of the different hitbox or trajectory it sends you in comparison to normal Mario. Yeah, it's also one of those things that I just tell people, it's like a matchup experience. Like... You know Mario, but you don't really know Dr. Mario just because in the meta he doesn't really fit per se. So like in Colony's situation, that role was costly, but also like let's for Colony's sake, he didn't know the matchup at all, as you can kinda of tell. Like it's how many times do you tell yourself I'm gonna fight a Dr. Mario at MSM when I'm like in winner's quarters? There's a really good uh, Dr. Mario um named Mabel that's been doing really well consistently. I don't know if him and Wait, yeah, he did play Colonies, actually. And uh, Colonies actually lost to Mabel. Yeah. So, I don't know, might be a little bit of a rough matchup for him. We'll see, though. I don't think Colonies will switch. I know he plays, like, uh, Wolf and Roy as well, but he he's really confident in his Young Link. Yeah, Young Link was a good play. It's just there was a lot that he could not get off. Like I said, specifically Fire Arrow. Usually, you will see Young Link specifically just tossing boomerang just so they can cover a jump or force force an approach option from a character like Mario in specific 
but he wasn't able to get much out of it. And then also, like you said, right, he committed to a lot of grabs. Thing about Young Link's grab, most tether grabs, is when you go for them, they're super committal. And this is normally because they have such end lag. So they usually, it's really good to go for, specifically when you have your opponent holding shield a lot, or they have a lot of pressure on their end, and then you can get a grab. I think Colonist was looking for a grab because he knows, like, I can do down throw, up air, or down throw, nair. But speaking of character switches here... Oh, so wow. He did get a character switch. I'm really surprised, actually. I rarely, rarely see him switch to, like, a counter pick when he loses. I, I mainly see it, like, he... He just like, oh, I have like a really good handle on this guy with Young Link. Let's just try and see how my Roy's doing. But, wow, I'm kind of surprised to see Sharp's Doc make Colonies feel like he's forced to switch off of his best character. But uh, let's see. Let's see how the Roy does. Right, well, it's interesting too because, you know, normally you think of stories are good against people like Dr. Mario because they have range, as you would say. But Roy gets in your face with his, so he doesn't really try to keep... Uh, Dr. Mario out or anything. Yeah, it's more of like, look at Roy's frame data and his ability to get conversions off of opportunities like jab, get things get things going with neutral air. It's gonna be up to Colin to see how he can get in. I like that use of jump though, trying to get on the center platform and around Ness Sharp. Yeah, Sharp's applying so much pressure. That was such a scary movement from Sharp. It's dash dancing back and forth. Luckily, Colin didn't get blown up by Baish. Might die here? Yeah, another offstage Nair, dude. Caught that lazy recovery from uh, from Colonies there. And now uh, Sharp again finding himself with the stock lead. Colonies going to have to really apply some pressure here so he doesn't fall too far behind. Gotta say, I like how Sharp is just doing these dash dances in neutral with Dr. Mario. I like to do the same thing just because... Oh, great double edge dance. So strong. But yeah, I like to do the same thing just because it scares people. And I feel like Doc is a character similar to Ganon that like really gets rewarded off of scaring your opponent, forcing them to do some panic options. You can punish really hard. Luckily for uh, Connie's though, Roy is kind of in the same boat if he can, you know, get, get his engine running a little bit here. Yeah. Gotta be careful too. I, I know he wants that falling up there because it leads to so much with Roy, but uh, can't do it in any predictable timings or Sharp's gonna punish it, especially with the up smash, but there's the up air back air. Got him at the ledge, exactly where Roy wants, but he went super greedy off stage a little bit too early with that back air. Kind of let Doc come back. Oh no. Oh no, not like that. Fast falling off stage with a like, character like Roy who pretty much falls like a brick. Yeah, that's just surefire way to SD. Oh, but the tech chase, wow. Sharp roll in there, I'm really surprised. Just because of how long Collins was charging that. Ooh, who needs it though? Immediate force smash right right in the chest, man. Caught him jumping from ledge with that nair. Try to get something started like with a, a nair combo. Sharp's just seen through all that. 